Oh my god, BTS is literally so cute. Shut up! Yo, 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 what's up? My name is Galton Sukha Kurulachuk, Sachatirin Sutta Kutana. No, I messed it up. My name is Galton Sukha Kurulachuk, Sachatirin Yusun Harkutu Aksutta Kutu Hashin Yaboga. Or you can call me Batman. So, about one year ago, I made a video about how to throw things, and a lot of you asked many questions. So, in this video, I'm putting the most common questions and I'll try to answer them all. And maybe I'll give you some extra tips on how to throw things. And without further ado, without further ado, let's get started. I started practicing, but I'm noticing my vocal cords are hurting after words. If I practice for 15 minutes or more, is that normal? No, it's not normal. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's normal. Well, you just have to let your throat rest for the day and then start tomorrow or maybe the day after tomorrow. My voice is too clean. I can't do the second step. What should I do? Are you saying that my voice is dirty? How dare you? Does weed smoking help? Oh, well, I haven't tried it before. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll help, but I think it'll make your throat drier, so I'm not really sure. Why is your profile pic a mate? Uh, mate helps you to sing better because it moisturizes your throat. And also it's good. Why hachapuri? It's my favorite Georgian food. I think uh, it helps you to sing uh, better because it makes you uh, feel good here. And the sound comes from down here. So if you have good energy, good strength, you push it back with uh, happiness and love and it goes out and maybe it'll help you to sing better, I think. Does this damage vocal cords? No, no. <coughs> Are the steps the same if you're a woman? No. Actually, for women, you have to do one extra step. First, you have to go outside and uh, do a ballet dance. And afterwards, you sniff a flower and uh, put it behind your ears. You may wish to ask, does it work? I don't know. I'm having trouble finding the golden vibration. Any tips? Some people find it a bit difficult to find the golden vibration. And I believe that maybe if you warm up your throat, you'll be able to be able to control your voice better. And one of the options is you take a cup of uh, tea, like a hot tea. And to warm up your throat, you do this. Put it on your throat. And if you want uh, the, what you call, the optimal, the best warm-up session, then you take the, the, the tea and then you drink it. And that way you'll warm it from within and from out, outside. And I was just kidding. I was just joking. Yeah? You just uh, do vocal exercises and then maybe you just sing. And uh, maybe after like 15 minutes or so you can try to do the golden vibration and you might be able to find it. Can, can women try to sue? We can't go as deep as men, obviously. Obviously, you can't go as deep as men. I always run out of breath really quickly and I can do it for about 10 seconds or less. Any tips? That's a very good question because there is actually one exercise which is related to your uh, question and that exercise is to uh, hold your singing as long as you can. With a good uh, posture, with the you know, back being straight and throat also like neck being straight as well, uh, with a relaxed body and uh, breathing from diaphragm and um, of course using the, the vibration and so on, you have to you know, maintain the sound for as long as you can, uh, just like this. Yeah, so try to do that for as long as you can and do it on a repeated basis throughout the day and maybe after some time you'll be able to sing for as long or much longer, maybe even longer than who knows. I have a question, how much time we need to make it really good? Greetings from Turkey. That's a good question as well. 
Uh, in my case, it took me like several weeks or several months because uh, I was just having fun doing this thing. I never tried to make it better. Uh, so I was walking down the street in a busy street, but nobody uh, listened to me and then I was doing this thing. And yeah, maybe if you're concentrated on the result and if you keep practicing these things, maybe you'll be able to reach uh, the maturity level faster than me. And also it depends on each person. I can throw sing, but I don't know what to sing well. Hello well, that's a good point. <laughs> because most of the songs that I know that are fully compatible with throat singing are either Mongolian or Tuvan traditional songs, or uh, can be uh, Tibetan Buddhistic mantras and stuff like that. Yeah, but of course you can think outside the box and try to come up with a musical piece or maybe try to make a cover out of something else. You can do whatever you want. And yeah, maybe you can find a very good usage of throat singing at some point, who knows. Hey, I'm 17 and my voice is breaking a lot. When I try and find my cognitive vibration, it just sounds like a bunch of voice breaks. What can I do? Do I just uh, have to wait until my voice fully drops? Actually, even children can do it. But the thing is, their voice is a bit higher than the adults. But of course, uh, their technique is still the same, so you don't really have to wait. You gotta make a tutorial on how to sing Sigurd. I just can't this down. Sigurd, it's, uh, as I mentioned in the video, it has the bass in uh, Hume, which uh, goes like And if we consider this as your uh, upper part of your mouth, I don't know how you call it, I, for I forgot the word, and this as your tongue. So you have, when you say U, it's, it goes like this U, O, A, E, E. Yeah, and then um, with Sigre uh, or Sigurd, you have to put your tongue in this kind of uh, position. So, for example, it goes like this. That kind of stuff. But of course, uh, the, the one that I demonstrated wasn't the best. I could, but you got the point. It's um, it's a bit more technical. Uh, so if you followed uh, some of these tips, maybe you'll be able to sing better. And I hope you, I answered your question. And what else? Uh, pff, let me know what you'd like to see more from this channel. Uh, it can be uh, throat singing videos. It can be song commentaries. It can be what else? Uh, a Mongolian language uh, lesson, or it can be a Mongolian script, who knows? Uh, or maybe you're interested in the frog cult thing. Actually, the frog cult is very interesting because uh, I'm delivering Mongolian traditional philosophy through those animations. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you know, not just songs, but also the ideas and the way of life, yeah, check the, uh, those uh, frog cult videos. And yeah, so uh, I'll maybe, uh, I'll try to make a video based on how much like uh, one comment gets. And uh, until next time, see you all and have a nice day and slap like now or whatever. I feel like I'm 10 million subscribers, I'll reveal you my personality. <laughs> I'm just joking. Great, bye. <laughs> Hi, so uh, this is my friend, uh, Mama. Uh, Mama, this is everyone. Uh, she sometimes comes by our place and sleeps on a bed. Uh, she's not my cat. She's, I don't know, a stray cat. But maybe she has an owner, I'm not sure. Some, sometimes she comes and eats. But yeah, uh, right now she became a furball. Yeah. So uh, yeah, some, uh, we call her Le Mama. But Le is a French uh, masculine article. I don't know why we use it, but it fits her better. Yeah. <laughs>